starting to get late now, and we're still in um, Iverstead. Having spent yesterday acting as the messenger of love, <laughs> despite my appearance, I decided before uh, before going to bed, to, before heading back to Riften, to check out this this barrow over here, which the the, the innkeeper had reported was uh, was thought to be haunted, and it really is right next to the town. That's that's not great, really. I can see why they're concerned. Um, but you know, it's getting late, so maybe that's a good time to see ghosts anyway. Our oh, hauntings over here. Let's um, have a look. There's my torch. Make things a little easier. Hmm. Well, it's not very big unless a lot of this is underground. And uh, it looks fairly well trashed and emptied out. Not really surprising. I mean, being so close to the to the village, I bet the local kids like to come up here and scare the living daylights out of each other. Dares and things to come and grab something from the spooky barrow. But really, it's just a bunch of uh, bunch of skeletons, the sort that stay laying down. I don't get up and wander around. So. Um, but I won't draw it as that. I mean, they didn't actually say where the ghost comes out, so it could be inside. However, uh, this being a a typical Nordic barrow, let's um, let's not bring the dog inside. I don't want you getting skewered or anything like that in here from the the sort of traps that are undoubtedly in here. Don't growl at me. Just sit there quietly, okay? And try not to wander off. I'll be as, make as quick as I can, okay? We can go back to the inn. Bit of excitement though, you know. It's all very well being the messenger of love, but let's do some other things as well. Okay. Let's have a look in here. Oh, I see strange writing on the ceiling for a second. There was a mention of an adventurer come down here as well. I'm wondering if he's stirred things up. Oh, he's taken something. That has then uh, unsettled the spirits. Well, they're saying that. You know. Uh. <laughs> well, if the spirits are unsettled, you know, I can't, I can't unsettle them any more than they are already. If it comes to it, I'll put those things back. You know, a torch is burning down here, so I guess someone's come down. Oh, wow. Um, there, uh, by the way, I've been playing different games, which is why I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Uh, that's an impressive set of gauntlets. I, um, they're heavy armour, but I'll, I'll take them anyway. Lots of dwarven gear being found now. Let's not take them. I, I, I said don't take the one. One second. And your controls. Okay, anything gonna wake up and come at me? I've never seen a ghost before, and um, I still don't think I have. That that was terrible. Uh, that sounded like the sort of thing that someone would say if they what they think a ghost would sound like. It is not well. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being too harsh here, but it doesn't. If I was a wailing spirit and and and, and suffering, I don't think I'd be sounding like that. That just sounded uh, uh, you know, my suspicions of uh, have arisen. Yeah, these are probably dead, aren't they? These are not. These are not your get up and walk around sort. Just a bunch of dead bones. So let's look. We've got no switch over here, so let's let's look around for a switch to get through here. Uh, we have levers. That's too many levers. That is too many levers. Um 
I'm not seeing any pressure pads. Or trip wires. And I strongly suspect a trap. What's this? Before the ages of man. Okay. And we've got some. Uh, stop running around, that's not a good idea in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, those look like dart traps to me or something similar. Oh. That's about as spooky. <laughs> That's more spooky than the darn ghost is. So, um, I don't know if it'd be dark traps pointing this way. Let's be sensible and see. Uh, let's not have the door shut on our foot either. Let's pull one of these. Well, that's great. I'm, I'm really hoping this will open the door again. Oh, it does the other one as well. Oh, that's a pain, isn't it? Right, let's try this one then. That seems to do the same thing as the other. Didn't seem to do anything at all. I'm making it worse. Whoa, 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 there we go, there go the darts. And it's nice of them to produce this little handy uh, place to hide. Not the greatest dart designing the one. Oh, okay, there you go. That wasn't too bad. Let's go and see this ghost. It doesn't seem very pretend very friendly, so let's um it's prepared. I don't, I don't mind helping, you know. Let's keep an eye out for more traps as well. I don't mind helping if he, if he is a truly a lost soul who just needs something. Oh, it's locked. That is quite ghostly. How did he get through there? That is a bit spooky. I didn't hear the doors go, so um, let's go this way first. Constant paranoia about. Uh, Traps now as well. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'm in the neighbourhood of the right place. Excellent. Yeah. Um, as I said, not the greatest sort of trap people in the world. What do you reckon that does if I stand on that? It's not. I'm just wondering, you know, if, I'm gonna, if I do actually catch it. What I'm, if I'm going to, uh, what do I do to avoid whatever comes out? Oh, hello. Oh wow. And can I carry all this? Looks like I can. So where was this trap then? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, set of big spikes, I'd imagine. And there's one on here as well, look. Oh, adept. Am I going to be good enough to do this? Oh, maybe not. And I give it a little wiggle and there you go. It's the way oh, wow, okay. I guess, um, you get a lot better than I realised doing this. What do we have in here? A whole bunch of stuff. Well, whatever happens in here, it's been a, in a uh, been a rewarding experience so far. Oh, hold on, don't forget about the. Uh... I'm curious though. Hold on a second. Yeah, nasty. Right. That's all broken and blocked. Oh, there's something here. Look. Yeah, I can see why adventurers enjoy. Uh, running around these places. It, it's just sort of uh, interesting. With the looting. I can't see a trap here. Oh, okay. I'm glad I'm taking it easy. Let's just save just to be careful here. In case anything else goes off. So where did that ghost go? Is he going to lead me further into the barrow? Let's pick a direction. Well, that bowl's worth quite a bit, actually. Hello? There's the ghost. 
Oh, he doesn't seem friendly. Does not seem friendly at all. What's going on? I know I didn't leave when you asked me to, but... There's no need for this, you know. We could have talked about this. Why one has to be so... Whoa! What was that? Oh, look! Yeah, I thought as much. Isn't this the chap who was the... The adventurer that's supposed to come over here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, well, that accounts for your rubbish ghost performance. Have a little Talos. Very nice. But we'd, oh dear, sorry. Let's give me, give, <laughs> let's give you your, uh, your. What did you? What was that? Fur shoes. Have them back. There we go. So you didn't. We didn't need to do all this, did we? This wasn't necessary. Huh? We could have talked about it. And I'm. I, I, So it looks like he's been living in here for a while. I mean, it, it, uh, the the barkeep said that um, he'd come here and investigate something about the barrow. Yeah, he's been sleeping in here and doing whatever and making potions. And obviously, uh, didn't want to share. Let's look at his journal, see what he was up to. Journal of Windelius Gatharian. Uh, morning star. Uh, I've set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. Well, I need some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. When's this one? About seven days later. Had a close call today with that fool Wilhelm. Is that the barman? I think it is. He came close to entering the barrow, but I was able to scare him off by rattles of pottery shards in a bag. These people are far too superstitious for their own good. Gives me an idea. Three days later? Must be later, I don't know. Yeah, three days later. Um, after a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Ivestead believe is haunting this barrow. I'm gonna test it out tomorrow. Success! It worked better than I could have imagined. All I had to do was wander around the entrance of the barrow at night and wave my arms about. I had to stop myself from laughing out loud as they ran away. This should keep them at bay while I continue searching for the claw. Almost half a wow, half a year has passed he's been in here, rooting around, and no sign of the claw or any clues to its whereabouts. This is becoming maddening. He has to be here. I can't risk hiring an assistance. I'll have to continue alone. How long has he been now? I'm not sure how many months away that is. I don't know the months very well. It, it isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Harvested. It must be on much of my ruse, and they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber of their own and keep the riches for themselves. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read my journal to remember my purpose. Am I a part of this too? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? They should not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroud Health Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. Well, okay, there, there we go. That answers that, doesn't it? The poor fellow had been in here so long, fruitlessly searching for this claw, whatever the heck it is, that um, he's gone round the bend. That's quite interesting. There's, uh, in the back of the Middle, Eve, Middle Ages, you get different sorts of beggars. That's what my told me. Um, and some beggars would pretend to be mad. And there was always a risk of you didn't spend your whole time pretending to be a mad person literally going mad. It sounds like what this poor fellow has done. He's he's become so confused. Maybe the, maybe there are some there is some evil in, in this barrow anyway, but he's certainly become confused enough that he's uh, didn't know who he was anymore. And decided he was um, he really was a ghost. Not a very good one. A ghost. The claw? No idea. It's obviously not in here. Um, we'll venture a little further. Oh, there's a trap. I've just seen that. We'll venture a little further. And I think we'll just go back and report to the innkeeper that um, what's happened. A simple explanation of tomb madness, adventuring madness. Okay. 
bit more worried now about real dangerous things in here. Interesting. These carvings, like acolytes, and something worshipping something. Yeah. Feathers falling from the wings. Very interesting. I'm sure they've all got very deep meanings. It's the same thing each time, isn't it? No, that's someone different. That person has a wolf's, wolf's uh, a mantle of wolf fur. And the moon. Is that the same person again? Yeah, but the same sort of pictures repeated in various ways. I'm not sure if they're changing or not. There is something different there. We've got we've got um we've got butterflies that time. And stop. And we have a door. With some sort of combination lock in it. And a hole. A special sort of keyhole, obviously. And this is the claw he's talking about, maybe. Well, I think that's enough of that, quite frankly. The uh, the mystery of Shardhart Barrow has been solved. Some poor crazy old elf. I'm trying to remember if there's any traps up here as I barge my way back in. Yeah, I'm glad of them. I, I think the dog would have been okay down here, but you know, he might have wandered into something nasty or got squashed by a door or goodness knows what. So, oh. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck in here now. Am I going to go mad too? I think I'm a ghost. Uh, right. That's the one that does this door here. So we know that's the one that does the trap. And this one. We we'll just put it back in the position we started with, whatever that was. Can you remember that one that was? Because I can't remember that was. Where well, that controls the outer one. Yes, there we go. So interesting. We got some nice, uh, a nice reward out of that. Had to kill some poor insane fellow that uh, got all aggressive. Well, it's pretty a good thing we did. I mean, he. Who knows what he might have gone to after a while. He might have taken direct action on the uh, on the villagers. Is the dog going to be here? That's the ultimate question every time I leave him somewhere, isn't it, really? Okay, I thought you weren't for a second. <laughs> I, thought, I thought you'd move. Come on, boy. Let's go and... Uh, what's the time now? Oh, it's not that late. Let's go back to the inn. And you can lay by the fire have a nice night and you and we'll um you follow me yeah let's go and talk to the innkeeper tell him the good news greetings willem we don't get many visitors through here unless they're headed up to high hrothgar of course okay um i found this in shranhath barrow let me see that i can't believe this it was all just a fabrication of this mm. Swindelius character i can't believe we were so stupid well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Okay, but don't be too hard on uh, on his memory, because, um, you know, the poor fellow had gone nuts. He'd gone around a bit. You just give me a claw. Now, we both read the same journal, Willem. Okay, we both know he was looking for a claw, and this is the... Did he not mention that he was after a claw? Maybe he kept it quiet, because he was worried about you uh, you getting a share of the treasure. I, I, I don't really want your claw, Willem, quite frankly. Uh, th this, this looks like it goes pretty deep into this... Through again. Stop by for a drink. Uh, yeah, I'm more worried about that, that barrow out there. I, I'm not planning on going in there, you know. Why don't you keep the claw and the journal, and the next time you see an adventurer come through, you know, you know this sort bright-eyed, um, may have a strange tattoo in the shape of a, a crown or a dragon or something. Give it to them, okay, and they can go adventuring down there, because I'm not... I'm, uh, am I going to be able to drop this? I shouldn't think I will, will I? I I'm not going to go rummaging around in barrows. I was only doing it as a favour to get rid of the ghost. What's it? Dragon Claw. Yeah, can I... No, I can't, can I? Okay, I tell you what, Willem. Next time you see one of those adventure fellows, go along to uh, tell them to go to Windhelm. 
okay? And in Windhelm, I'm going to pop into the temple, and I'm going to drop off some interesting items. And tell them to come and get them, and that they can go and have a, a whale of a time rummaging around in the depths of some tomb oh, somewhere, God, okay? watch over your In back. the meantime, can I, can I have enter room, please? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay, thank you. Now, I'll show you to your room. Right uh, this okay, way. that's very good service of you. That's very nice of you. Let me know it, if there's anything else you need. It's a shared room, We don't it? get many visitors through here, unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar. It's your daughter, isn't it? Sleeping in here. Okay, um, yeah, you sit down there, boy. It looks like in this in this simple place we're <laughs> we're sharing. It. I guess if you own an inn, you probably you probably sleep in there as well. But um, yeah, I don't mind if we be sharing with the daughter. Uh, food. It's not been a bad day, quite frankly, you know. All said and done. But there we go. I'm gonna call it a night, and I think we're gonna head back to Rifton in the morning. Hey, boy.